Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to The Curious Expedition. We are Roll to Munson. This is going to be Expedition 5 out of 6. We are nearing the end of the campaign, uh, but we are not quite there yet. We have a couple more to go. We have Drylands, Desert, Jungle, and another jungle uh, as possibilities for today's expedition. Do we go hmm, to Tiki Taka Jungle? Or do we go to Sorrowful Jungle? Because I really want to go to Jungle. It's one of the only biomes we haven't been to yet. Although I know you guys didn't actually see the desert playthrough. I did play through it and the audio is available. Now this one has... There are definitely different things available here. They, they each have one... Like, I don't know what all these things mean. Two They each have two villages. This one has some kind of gem. And this one does not. This one has four... Yeah, they're definitely... This one looks a little... I want I want that gem. It looks a little cooler. Sorrowful or Tiki Taka? Yeah, who wants to go to the Sorrowful? Oh, this is a golden pyramid. This is a buried golden pyramid. Let's go to Tiki Taka. That's where we're going to go. So we did fail to do um, the, the uh, secondary quest last time. So we'll see what kind of detriment that is to us. Yeah, see, there, there are two things we could have found. Drums or a horn flute. And we looked pretty hard for both, and we could not do anything. Uh, we, we just couldn't find anything despite our best efforts. And I really did try. So we have nothing to offer, unfortunately. And that lowers our fame by 50, which stinks. The collector seemed rather disappointed and left the harbor post-haste. I wondered if this would tarnish my reputation. A woman approached me with a request. She told me about her missing husband, a former adventurer who failed to return from his last expedition. She begged me to try and find him, and if he was still alive, guide him safely back into her arms. Well, anything for a fellow adventurer. You know, if I was lost... Uh, on an expedition, I would want an adventurer to come rescue me. I certainly accept. I nodded gratefully and promised to seek out her loved one. The news of my glorious adventures had spread, so I was not surprised to see that tales of my previous expeditions had attracted quite some attention. So remember, because we are charismatic, we get two choices here. We're going to get to choose from someone here, and then again. We're going to get to choose someone. Uh, I also, there was another little update to the game. I'm pretty sure they fixed, there's no lag here, as you can see. I think they fixed that opening lag. We should be able to, like, hover over this stuff without it just immediately disappearing. Yeah, so that's pretty good. I, I love this turtle. I'm so happy we have Mr. Winters here. Mr. Winters makes me very happy. And Lewis is great. Um, did we get rid of the other hunting dog? Because Lewis doesn't take up a slot. We have James Sterling, who has been awesome. Definitely want to keep James Sterling. We could get rid of Christopher Overton. And we could... Oh, Juliet LaBeouf actually gained a loyalty point. Just from being with us? Interesting. Now, we did increase her ability. She's level 2. And you... Oh, we also increased you to level 2. And Mountain Guide could be good. The meat thing has definitely been less valuable than I thought it would be. Who do we have? I don't really want anyone with negative traits. And we don't need more haggling, I don't think. Um, increases the effectiveness of, <laughs> you're racist, of flares. Uh, those might be some good, that's that's a lot of die. Like, how many die do you have? Yeah, those are some good die you have there, William Overyeo, the sailor. And here's a soldier. Yeah, they're all, ha they all have negative traits. I'm going to bypass these guys, but we will get another group that want to come up. Private. Yeah, you're you're good at sanity gain from fighting. That is pretty interesting. Because we also get meat from fighting, I assume, almost every time. I assume that's a way to, like, get sanity back. And now that we have a cook, that's definitely interesting. Now, you are an alcoholic, which is not great. But I didn't know that this was a thing, combat spirit. That might be something I want to keep on the lookout for. Mountain guide we already have, but without being claustrophobic. Yeah, and what is this? Increased sanity from cocoa leaves. I think I'm happy with who we have. You've got full dice here, and that's nice. Anytime you roll dice, it's going to come up with something. Oh, and you have good dice. The diplomat. Yeah, you know what? I kind of like our party, especially now that the cook... I mean, the cook would synergize pretty well, I feel like, with the soldier. But I really don't want an alcoholic. Like, none of us have any negative traits right now. 
And let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five with me, right? Yeah. And the and the tortoise. I think we're good. No, thank you. So we didn't take anyone new, but I think that's good. Oh, hold on, there's a little moth. I gotta squish it. No, never mind. It's like a gnat. All right, never mind. I, I, it flew away. Uh, animal improvement costs how much? Too much. Because I might actually want to improve Lewis if I can, but we don't. We didn't really get a lot of funds last time, unfortunately. So, ooh, we have food cans here containing English beans. So it's definitely good to, you definitely want to use all of your funds um, because you can then sell stuff that might be worth more to, that might be valued more by tribals. Now we got rid of all of our whiskey and all of our cocoa. We could, I guess we could have sold these walrus teeth. Oh, another one of these. You know, I think I will get it, but we might consider trading them because I think they might just not be that special and they might be valued by the tribesmen. We don't need, we would need snowshoes uh, if we were going somewhere like that. Uh, climbing gears might be important. It just depends on where we're going. We should get some ropes and then we don't have any funds after that. We have one extra bullets, one shotgun. We don't have anything to give us extra sanity. That's bad. Huh. Would the food cans help us with the cook? Yeah, we need something to bring up our sanity. Chocolate's probably better, but I... Oof. Uh, can I, do I sell anything? No. You know what? I guess I won't take this. And I'll take some food instead. Now, that's not a lot. But I think I want a piece of climbing gear just in case. All right, it is what it is. Let's go. All right, we got a new kind of item, I guess. Let's set sail. Here we go. Oh yeah, look how much faster this is loading up here. Yeah, this is, they, they definitely fixed that bug, which is very nice to see. All right, we're going to Africa. This is our first time in Africa, I believe. I don't, maybe the desert was in Africa? Okay. I had heard enough sea shanties to fashion my own opera several times over, so I was relieved when we reached the land of our imminent adventure. The foreign landscape beckoned us, be, beaconed us to explore. Um, I don't know how hot it is. In the desert, I know what is important, but we still have some. Do we want to put anything in storage? We could put these walrus teeth in there. I feel like the walrus teeth are only important... Uh, no, we, these are not, these we don't need here, for sure. Although they don't take up storage. So there's no point. We might actually want to trade these. I could put the water back, but I actually don't know if water's hard to come by here. It probably isn't, but we can always dump it. You can always get water at the beginning of an expedition. Okay, let's go. Begin expedition. We have reached world five. All right, so compass is going everywhere, all over the place. Let's take a look. Okay, there's a lot of map to the south. Woo, boy. All right, we're going south. Let's, do we go in between these mountains? Well, we do have climbing gear. This doesn't take a lot of sanity. Let's do it. Okay. All right, we found a village. Um, and we're trying to find an adventurer, right? Do we know, do we have any idea where that ad lost adventurer might be? I don't think so. We have a level to spend. Um, can we promote you? No, I don't think we can promote anyone right now. And the tortoise doesn't get leveled, unfortunately. But the tortoise is helping our sanity, uh, our sanity decline rate, for sure. All right, let's go to the native village. We don't have any standing, but we have stuff to trade. And who knows, we might find our adventurer friend. Oh, what is that? A geyser, ooh. All right, enter village. Today we reached a village. We encountered a tribe that seemed to be shamanistic. I could smell that they had just prepared food. They kindly beckoned us over and offered some of their freshly cooked food. Wait, loot is all I... I can only loot. I can't just like 
That seems kind of mean. Oh, they're just giving it to me. Because they're awesome. Thank you. The villagers observed us with intrigue. They were kind and offered to help our cause. They are kind. I like this. Can I recruit anyone from you? Nope. Okay. Let's trade with you. Right. Oh, that's right. I kind of forgot that how this worked. I'm glad we brought we bought these ropes because they are like the cheapest things. Oh no, water's the cheapest thing. I'm glad we brought that water because look at this. For like one piece of water, which costs us nothing, we get free 15 uh, value worth of goods, which is pretty great. I think we need to take these jewels, certainly. Red mushroom. It has healing abilities. That's interesting. Mangoes. Yeah, we might want to take stuff. Now, we could, of course... Oh, this is how you improve loyalty of your people. I was thinking it was, like, standing with other folks, but we could just give them a surplus, and that might increase um, our standing with them. I'm not really sure how that works. We could... I don't know how much value we have left. Like, yeah, we, a spear's too much. Mushroom's too much. We could get some berries or something. I think I'm going to increase our standing with them with a little extra. We're just going to... Basically, we're trading a water for jewels, and that sounds great to me. Ooh, a torch. Torches could have come in handy last time, and it's probably something we'll want to watch out for, but I'm going to risk it a little and just let them give them some standing because I've never done that before. All right, that didn't actually increase their standing, so I guess I should have... Yeah, and we can't do the haggling anymore. I definitely should have uh, gotten that torch. Uh, we'll rest. Since we're here, we might as well max our sanity. Oh, we unpacked our belongings and prepared to spend the night with the natives at the campfire. In a quiet moment, one of the village elders gave us a serious look and asked if we knew who had created mankind. God? Evolution? Or don't know? Ooh. Well, I kind of want to say whatever... All right, so here's the thing. Here, what I personally believe, everybody, what Graham DeVille believes, is that God and evolution are not mutually exclusive. Um, so the answer would be both. But what do we tell these folks? That's not an option here. Do we tell them that we don't know? Or do we tell them... I'm kind of tempted. I think that telling them we don't know is the safest answer. Because if we say God and they don't believe in God, or they think that we're trying to force our God upon them, they might get mad. And if we say evolution and they believe in some God, they might get mad. This is safe. Let's do that. We told him we did not know the answer. He nodded quietly and seemed disappointed with our answer. Well, at least they're not trying to kill us. Oh, no. We did lose... San Man, we did lose standing. That stinks. What am I supposed to do? I guess we should have picked a different one. Oh, well. So much for living safely. Lesson learned. I slept in great comfort and safety. The next morning, I woke to the laughter of natives. The atmosphere was beginning to get somewhat tense. I mean, it sounds like it went really well. I don't know why we lost standing, but whatever. We're going to leave. Goodbye. Thanks for the meat. And we're being followed. They think they're gods. We caught a glimpse of a village warrior. Yeah, I should have said god. All right, so a village warriors are skulking behind me. I don't know why they don't like me, just because we said we didn't know who created mankind. Like, they could have told us. All right, do I go, you know, I think we want to go south, but I'm tempted to search as much as I can to try to find the adventurer. This land is very forgiving right now. It's not costing us a lot of sanity to travel, and our mount is helping us, plus we have some meat. Let's just go here. Get some more, explore some more land. Ooh, it's the jewel thing. Portal. Portal. A marvelous gate stood before us. A light swirling at its center seemed to form some manner of portal. Now, when we went, when we looked at this map, it only said there was one of these. I thought it was like a gem or something. But it because there was only one, it means that if we go through, we're not going to come out on some other portal. There's no second portal. But, I mean, we have to try it. We have to. Without a second thought, what? We marched through the arc. A moment later, we stepped into an unusual landscape. Plus, question mark, question mark, question mark. Okay. Uh, 
a little mini map in space. Well, I gotta say, if there's a missing adventurer, this could be where he's missing. Um, let's go here. I don't see any anything to fight over here. Oh, we leveled up. All right, before I enter this temple, let's level up. Do I level up? You know what? I kind of want to wait. I kind of want to save our level for the Haggler because it's such a great perk. James Sterling is my favorite. I think I'm going to wait to be able to level up James Sterling. So we're going to wait till we have another one. Followed, question mark. All right, we're going to explore, I guess. After a long day of traveling, we approached a sacred temple that was carved into a mountain. I could tell that it was a special place. A large opening led inside. I kind of wish I had a torch right now. We arrived at the inner sanctuary of the temple. It looks okay. Uh, a very old platform stood in its center. We saw a golden goblet containing a clear liquid standing in the center of the altar. Intuition told me that one of our number should drink from it. Uh, but not me. All right. I don't know what it's going to do. The person I care the least about, well, honestly, it's kind of a toss-up between these two. I mean, it might be a good thing, but I just don't want to risk it. I feel like if we got rid, I would if we got the soul, someone with the soldier perk, that would synergize with Juliet. So let's let's give it to Christopher Overton here. I told Private Christopher Overton to drink from the strange goblet. He protested initially, but then took a few long sips until the chalice was emptied. As he drank from the chalice, his skin began to harden and darken. Soon after, it seemed as if his skin was much now harder and more resistant to harm. Oh, I guess I should have given it, if I had known, I would have given it to the um, haggler. But that's fine. That's good. He's a decent fighter, too, so it works out. There's no way back inside. Okay. Or we have no idea. Everything's kind of weird here. Is time even passing while we're here? All right, well, we have to check this out. We have plenty of sanity. And then we'll just go back to the portal, I guess. Another sacred temple. Okay. And this one's a red liquid. So I guess you now have extra toughness, right? Oh no, you. You have leather skin. Max Increased max health. Yeah, your toughness. A red liquid. You know what? Chris Overton, just drink all of it. And regeneration. All right, well, Chris Overton is our, our fighter for sure. Our tank. Right, well, that is good to know. Um, so Christopher Overton, do I level you up? I mean... I still want to wait. Well, now I learned a little something about these temples. So far, they've been very positive. Wow, it's a lot of regeneration. Mountain Trooper. All right. Um, yeah, only 15. Go back. Days are passing. Days are definitely passing. My vision became blurry. I rubbed my eyes, and when I looked up again, I was back where I originally stepped into the terrible portal. Okay. That's good. That saves us a little time. All right, so they're not too far along here because we, we didn't have that visibility before. Um, yeah, our sanity is looking really good. Let's, I might want to check out here. Let's go here first. Geyser. Okay. We do have a little bit of mountain climbing gear. Oh, it's a cave and we don't have a torch. Let's eat some meat before we go in, because we need the sanity. Plus 15 sanity. Nice. Okay, we will explore. Now, we don't have a torch, but we have a lot of dye here, including from our dog. I'm pretty confident about this. We failed. Oh, wait, did we fail? We failed. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Oh, our eyes adjusted to the darkness. Oh, but James Sterling was bleeding. Oh, no. Not James Sterling. His injury was grim, but he was unable to tell me what had happened. Oh, that's bad. We arrived at a concealed passage in one of the walls that seemed to lead into another part. Well, we're sending Christopher Overton. 
Did that work? I forced Private Christopher Overton to investigate the opening. After a long time, he crawled back out of the darkness. He regaled us with the majesty of a sacred altar inside, upon which lay a mystical artifact. Oh, the Moonstone. Well, we might need that to win. We're taking it. Okay, so we have an injured person. And it's our favorite person. We don't want anything bad to happen. Now, we don't have any medicine. We don't have anything to heal him with. He's not infected. Hopefully, we can get to another village soon. Is that... Why is that like a noose? Oh, you need rope? Is that what that is? Rope to get there? Well, we're definitely going to explore this. I'm trying to explore everything here. Ooh, that geyser. Look at that. Oh, I bet this drain home would work out there oh we leveled up but i'm kind of all right so what is this a hut you're not infected it you're just injured it can become infected and the infection chance is low i'm gonna go ahead and promote you because we might need your haggling at this time yes james sterling level four with haggling four this is the highest level you can reach it appears because everyone else, you see there's like a plus here. No more plus. We have maxed out James Sterling. Let's enter the hut. We entered a mysterious looking hut. It was dark and damp inside with all sorts of dried herbs and other peculiar things hanging from the walls. A native shaman approached us with an absent stare as he chewed on some leaves. Ask for healing. The shaman was willing to offer services but demanded payment up front. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, first have some water. Then we will haggle. Oh, great. And already we're even for the healing. Is there anything else we want from you? Um, these things are actually valued more by you than by us. Um, wisdom, dry land, spring creation, waterfall creation. Spring creation just gives us water. We've done that before. Maybe in the lost episode, but we have tried it before. Native trinkets are good, but... Hmm. Do you value anything that we have? Oh, you value... Yeah, we could sell you this for a little extra. But those probably are situationally very good. Do you value anything else more? No. I think we're good. I think just the haggling, which gives us a value of 20, and giving you a little water, it's going to do it. Awesome. James Ster With James Sterling's own skill, he was able to negotiate getting healed for just a little bit of water. Excellent. All right, now we can leave. Well, that was worth it. For sure. No one's hurt anymore. All right, I guess we just go south. Um, this compass is pointing right at this magnetic mountain. We cannot trust it. Let's go down here. Only 11 sanity. I love this turtle. And it's also the land. Oh, what is that? What is that? Well, we're going to go to the trading caravan. Yeah, it looks like these guys are all pretty far behind. No one's... Yeah. All right, approach trader. A trading caravan had pitched up camp here. The colorful dress trader had a lot of useful goods on offer. Most of them seemed to be the remains of other failed expeditions. Okay. He proudly presented us with a selection of his wares. We could not help but think he had more valuables to sell. Okay. We always have to remember to bring water with us at this point. We're going to get that treasure map for free. Is there anything that you value? The water? Yeah, the walrus teeth you value. Um, and you value the jewels. Which is interesting. Um, first aid kits would be good. Well, what do you have that's cheap? Because if you have anything that you undervalue, we should buy it. But there's nothing. There's nothing you undervalue and nothing you have that we particularly need, I don't think. Now, we don't have anything that gives us extra sanity, so we might want more food, but our sanity is okay. We do have some food, although we should check how much sanity that gives us back. We might need to trade with you again. For the time being, this is good. I'm going to eat a food. Wait. I can't. It's not doing anything. Um, I 
Why, why can't I? Uh oh. Um, I can't open these. Well, that means that I shouldn't have bought any anyway. What is this? I think I have to find out. Christopher's harmless. What? I don't know what that was. Is that something? Oh, we got it. Butterfly collection, a collection of butterflies. Okay, <laughs> neat. Um, why is there no? Oh, that's the treasure map. There was an X on the last map, and I didn't know what it was. Well, we have to go here. Oh, we don't have a shovel. Um, why was everything shaking? Uh, we don't have a shovel. So we can't dig it. Oh, man. All right. Well, if I get a shovel, I guess I need to come back. Man. Yeah. I feel dumb. All right. I kind of don't want to go to that mountain. Especially now that I know we can't eat. Oh. Oh, we did get some sanity. And now I can't use it again. Okay. All right. Where are we going to go? Um, we need to go... Just not west. I think east, actually. All right, let's go. Ooh. Let's go down here. Going through the forest isn't great. Oh, more. Ooh. What is this? An elephant graveyard. Ooh. Swamps. Now, this is this all takes rope. It takes us 10. 2 plus 8 to get here. But I think we want to explore it. It's a little risky. It's definitely risky. I'm definitely risking sanity here. Ooh. Malaria, no! All right. Let me explore before we attack the tiger, but we might want to attack the tiger before it attacks us. All right, we've already seen an elephant graveyard. Although, not, oh, what that was in the ice biome. This is definitely looking different. Um, yeah, hunt... Uh, remains of long dead elephants. Hundreds of these impressive animals had come here to die. We did not find any tusks of value. We did find something else. Altogether peculiar. Oh, another egg! Okay, we'll see if it's better than our current. Alright, let's attack that tiger. Because um, it's going to attack us if we don't. And plus, we have Christopher Overton now, and he's awesome. Okay, let's roll. And now, you know, I feel a little more confident with the combat. Oh, our tortoise. What can you combine with? Anything? If you can't combine with anything, that's fine. Shield four, though, that's pretty good. Shell! That's a lot of shield. Um, let's use you. Just attack for damage one. You know what? I might save that dice, actually. Ripper Leap. Great. Yeah, I'm going to save this for the next roll. Ooh. Claude. Uh, that does not synergize with anything. But this does. Kick. Damage three. You know what? Hmm. What do you do? You don't do anything. And you by yourself don't do anything? All right, I'll kick you. And I'll use this. All right, one more roll. Uh, nothing. That's too bad. Yeah, these were these aren't the... My shotgun only has a one in three chance of firing. I guess I could have used my extra bullets. But I forgot. Oh, I still can't. Well, no, I, I don't have any rolls left. Never mind. Oh... Oh, good. I can do this. Precise attack. All right, there go my bullets, but hopefully worth it. We didn't quite kill it, um, but we do have all this defense, so hopefully it won't hurt us. Oh, we, right, the bleeding killed it. Excellent. We lost some standing with the natives, but it wasn't good to begin with. Oh, yes. Tiger pelt. We got more animal teeth, which is different from walrus tooth. We are overburdened. That's okay. Let's eat this meat. Well, let's cook the meat, I should say. It's still, she's still so bad at this. 
All right, we gained a little sanity there, and we're no longer overburdened. Very good. Okay, that worked out. Again, I don't care about this mountain. I doubt the Avenger is in, in there. Mountain face sculpture. All right, this is saying, it's still basically saying east-ish. We cannot cross this chasm. There's something over here, although I'm feeling kind of confident about our fighting prowess. Uh, let's not go into the swamp. Let's just go here and see what we see. 11 sanity. Ah. Do we attack? The, uh, it looks like there's also something under the hyenas. Oh, another elephant graveyard. Let's attack. Because I'm getting used to this. Although I don't have any bullets anymore. Um, let's see how we do. Ooh, okay. Well, we're going to use this. Shotgun blast. Multi-attack. Perfect. Nice. Oh, there's a bunch of them. So that multi-attack was great. Taunt. Well, taunt's all you can do, and it doesn't synergize with anything. Although, hold on. You don't synergize with anything. You do, though. Ripper Leap. Hold on, let me see if the shield synergizes. It does. Stable position. Three shield. Tactical advantage. As opposed to... That. Now that would kill one of them. Okay. Just one shield. One claws. Um, I don't know if I want you taunting, actually. You know what? I will... Hold on. Yeah, let's re-roll. Right, well, we have the shield. That shield is great. All right, I guess... I guess I'll taunt. Actually, I can keep that, right? And re-roll this? Oh, that was nothing. Oh, it didn't really matter. Wouldn't have done anything. Fine, taunt. We have the shield. All right, end route. Okay. Ouch. Poor Lewis. Lewis is bleeding. All right, let's kill them. We definitely want that shell. Let's, um... Kick. I really want that shotgun, though. Claws damage, too. Ooh, multi-attack. Yeah, that's what I want. They're all stunned? Really? Um, yeah, we're going to reroll you and get a sword. I will keep those claws. Yeah, let's do that. Great. Reroll. Evade. Shield three. Don't need it. Reroll. Boom. Boom. That's a lot of damage, but uh, I want the point. I want the, oh, well. What else can we do here? You and you do kick. That'll be good. Get rid of one of them. You don't synergize. All right, whatever. Uh, don't taunt anymore. Just heal up, dog. You're stunned. All right, let's kill you. Good. We're still losing standing. Uh, we got a bunch of hyena pelts, more animal teeth, which fortunately stack, and more meat. All right, well, let's eat these. Okay, and we are no longer overburdened, and we have a bunch of sanity. Unfortunately, Lewis is very hurt. Infection chance, 20%. Not bad. Not the worst. All right, let's go to the elephant graveyard here. That's probably another egg. Hmm, this compass is saying not to go east anymore. And I don't see a magnetic mountain. We may just want to go south, but this is so close. Then again, we don't need another egg. It might be a bad idea to go here, because we don't... We already have one egg. I do want to find the other explorer, but I 
would be very surprised if the explorer was in the animal graveyard. We should probably just go south because we don't have a ton of sanity. Because um, it costs 20 movement through there. We wouldn't be able to get back. I think I'm going to skip this animal graveyard and go over here. It doesn't cost a lot of movement, and we get a bunch of visibility, hopefully. Yes. Of course, now we're seeing a lot of swamp. Unknown. I think we have to risk it. The compass is definitely telling me south-ish. And this is costing most of our sanity, but hopefully there'll be something here. Another? What is this? Oh, no, an infection. In the wilderness, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from becoming infected. Lewis's wound. I really don't want to lose Lewis. Lewis is awesome. I feel bad. It will lead to certain death if not treated properly. We don't have anything to treat it with. Well, we can explore here. Another elephant graveyard. Okay, let's search. Loot. All right, unfortunately, the eggs don't stack. Um. Oh, and we found a crocodile. Well... First of all, let's eat the food can the cans of food just to get some inventory space, and we need the sanity. I think we should attack the crocodile because it'll give us more meat. And there's only one of it. The shell is huge. Uh, okay. I'm going to wait till we get a sword here. What do you do? Observation? Nah. I want to keep you up. I want to keep you up. What do you do? Kick? That's not bad. But I'd rather with the sword. Hmm. I can re-roll you. Okay, let's roll. Yeah, that worked. Okay. Yeah, uh, this this is multi attack. Whatever. What if I? Yeah, that's all I can combine it with there. I'm gonna do it though. Okay, what else can we do? You synergize tactical advantage. That's pretty good. Don't want to taunt. Claws. Guess so. Reroll. You just do nothing. Maybe I didn't do that the best. We have a bunch of shield though. Hopefully this works. Oh yeah. Oh, we have bleeding damage. When did that happen? How did he make us bleed? Whoa. Our tortoise can fight. Now we still might want the shield, but yeah, that doesn't synergize with anything. How much toughness do you have? 13. We're not going to finish that off this time. I'm going to reroll. All right, you. Precise attack. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. Tactical advantage. Let's reroll. We want a lot of shield. Yeesh. Oh, that didn't work out. We should have used the beak. Well, we have a lot of. We have a bunch of shield here. Hopefully, it'll be okay. It is bleeding. Okay. Still causing damage and bleeding effect. We're okay. Okay, let's see if we can kill it. We definitely want this guy. Precise attack or repost. I don't think we need the repost. I think we want to try to do as much damage as possible this time. I will take the tactical advantage, though, because that's pretty great. Didn't get the shotgun, but we did get claws. What do you do? More shield. Gotta keep that up. Reroll these. Nope, that's all I can do. That's too bad. Didn't quite kill it. Although with the bleeding, he's dead. Great. Okay. Man, we are not in good standing. And I think we're still being followed, too, right? 
crocodile skin. Yeah, we actually do have to worry about being overburdened here. We need to drop something. What are we going to drop? Um, you know, we're in the swamp. This is when we went to home page of water drain. Let's use it. Yes. Um, did that work? Was that better? Well, okay. So we used it, right? We still, we are still overburdened. What can I do? What did we get? I guess we got this crocodile skin. You know what? We don't need the treasure map. We don't have a shovel. We can't go back for it, unfortunately. Yeah, it's way up there. Oh, but it's light. We, it doesn't matter. Uh, I don't want to drop the eggs. Don't want to drop the moonstone. Oh, the water. Yeah. Goodbye, water. Okay. Now we're okay. Sort of. I think we might need to fight this crocodile for the sanity. So we're going to go this way and kill it. Of course, Lewis is still hurt. We have more people bleeding now. It's not great. Oh. Uh-oh. <gasps> yes! All right, what do we have? A newborn tortoise. Another tortoise? A baby tortoise. Well, we might as well take it. All right, let's attack that crocodile, because we kind of have to for the meat, even though these things are really tough. Evade. As opposed to hitting it. I mean, evasion only goes so far with this thing. Oh, this isn't great. I mean, shield is important, but I want to attack, too. Yeah, I don't know. These are not great. These are not great rolls. I will keep... Just because I'm afraid of losing some of these rolls... I'll keep you two and re-roll. Oh, we got a shotgun. Great. Shotgun. We don't need the multi-attack. If I... Yeah, that's just one damage, although precise attack. With... Yeah, that's what we want. And we want this. And just two damage. Um, I might wait on that. And instead... Get a stable position for a little extra defense. Save this dice. Reroll. Does that synergize with anything? No. So we'll just shoot it. Then do a little extra defense. And that'll be it. I'm glad we got the bleeding early. Ouch. 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 Really, really ran through our defenses there. All right. We got you for the shell. Very important. Um, yeah, I think that's, I think the quick shot's all we want to do. We don't care about the multi-attack. Doesn't really do us any good. You, precise attack, with enemy bleeding. Now, you're already bleeding. Make sure I pick the best dice for the situation. You, and you, for a stable position. Or, what do you do? Nothing. All right, we'll get some extra defense. Reroll. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. End round. And he's dead. Oh, but he got one last hit in, and we got some bleeding damage. But we are all alive. Wait. <gasps> that whole time there were two crocodiles, and I only saw one? I should have been rolling differently. Wow. Wow. I totally miss it, like camouflaged. I did not see that at all. This is bad. This is very bad. We need healing. I should have done a multi-shot, and I should have... Oh, man. Point blank. Yes. We also want bleeding, though. Um, but that's a lot of damage. Hold on. If I don't do that, what else do we have? You. Headbutt. That would stun you. That's pretty huge. Yes. Are we bleeding? No. 
Yeah, I think I'm going to stun you. That's pretty important. Then you just do a quick shot. Actually, yes. Um, you know, I'll save that dice for next time, just if there's anything I can do. Why does it say I can do things with... Oh, yes. Perfect. All right, I'm going to save you, re-roll. Um... And do the same thing. That wasn't great. Okay. Might as well put that up there. All right. Shoot. And claws. And you're stunned, which is great. And round. Okay. Very good. That couldn't have been better. Use that shell. Now, how did I... What did I... How did I stun him? How did I get that headbutt? It was with this guy and something else. Wasn't that? I think it was the mind. Well, I want to keep that. Do I want to do anything with you? Let me keep. I think I want to reroll you. I'll keep you. I'll keep you because I want to stun it. I'm gonna keep these. Reroll these. Um, I think I might need to reroll again. Okay, not what I was hoping, but we got some good dice here. Point blank, five damage. I think we can do this. Boom. We deprive the remains of anything useful. Great. Oh, we got a lot of meat. Oh, that is good. Because we got because it was two of them. Man, we took care of that second. We're getting better at combat. I'm definitely learning the system. All right, sanity is looking much better. Okay. 37 sanity to come down here, but I think we have to. We don't, because this stuff is really hard to walk through, and we're getting close. I think we're getting close to where we need to be. We're definitely in the, going in the right direction. Two levels. Oh, we are really hurt. Um, you can't level up. You regenerate already. You you don't really need to level up. Oh, poor Lewis. I think I will level up my cook. Way to go. I guess I should have done that before I ate all that meat, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? More animal graveyards. This is crazy. Loot. Oh, a tusk this time. The bad thing is it doesn't stack. But it is good to have. What are we going to drop? It's worth a lot. Fun 60. Could drop the other egg. Um, could drop... Well, no, these stack. So anything that stacks... I could drop the tiger pelt. That's... Hmm. Yeah, the hyena pelts actually have decent value. Um, because there are four of them and they stack. I might have to drop the tiger pelt. I think I'm going to... Yeah. Um, I could get rid of the climbing gear. In fact, I am. Get rid of the climbing gear. Okay. Now, our sanity is not the most wonderful. And we don't have anything to kill here. And I have nothing to eat. This isn't great. It still seems that we should be going this way. Uh, actually, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like in here. We have nothing to raise our sanity, do we? Like at all. Um, yeah. And we never found that other expedition, which is really too bad. What are you gonna do? Did I not explore there? Maybe I didn't, maybe I just never went there. Yeah, I think I just didn't go to some of these intentionally. Although it's hard to remember. I mean, we never found the other explorer, which stinks. All right, we're going to go here and we're just going to have to risk the sanity loss. Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping. Uh-oh. James Sterling has an infected wound. Okay, but if we can get here without anything else bad happening... So the thing is, again, it's always a risk when you take the secondary quest, and this is 
the third time out of five times that we failed, which is not great. Uh-oh. Um, if I refuse, he might get a negative trait. We're about to win. He might lose loyalty, but his loyalty is four. I don't want to butcher either of these, although we have a new tortoise. And that tortoise might replace Mr. Winters. That's true. You know what? It's sad, but I'm going to do it. Sorry, Mr. Winters, you've been replaced. We had to do it. Gain 40 sanity. It was sad and vile, but we, but we are much saner for it. Um, we're overburdened because we don't have that tortoise, but it doesn't matter. Explore. Here was the golden landscape. We have... No. We need two? We need two of these? No. No. How was I supposed to know we would need two moonstones? We are in big, big trouble. We are super overburdened because we sacrificed Mr. Winters. How was, I, how was I supposed to know we would need two moonstones? This is very bad. This is very, very bad. We have to backtrack. There's nowhere else to go. And we're overburdened. I'm going to have to drop two item slots overburdened because we sacrificed Mr. Winners. Two. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. That stinks. That really stinks. A lot of this stuff is light. We're definitely keeping these animal teeth because we have a tons of them. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, but they're light. They don't weigh anything. I think we're keeping the crocodile skin. We might need to get rid of the tiger pelts and the hyena pelts. Although, we have four hyena pelts. I mean, we've... Mm. We're going to drop the tiger pelt. Which is terrible. And we might drop the jewels, which is kind of stupid. I need the tortoise for when it wakes up. Yeah. Okay. We still don't have this. It's so much travel cost to get through the jungle that we're still at 100% sanity. Even that we shouldn't have dropped that stuff, maybe. It doesn't matter. All right, we're going to go here and just hope we get lucky. I don't think you can find moonstones over here. This is so bad. All right, what terrible thing happened? Is Lewis dead? No. No, not James Sterling. Not James Sterling. He was the best. Goodbye, James Sterling. Goodbye. And now we're overburdened again, of course. But does it even matter? It doesn't. We have no sanity. Doesn't matter. Who cares? This is going so... I thought it was going so well... And it turned out it was going ridiculously awful. All right, at least we got our tortoise. We got a giant tortoise. Miss Jackson. Welcome, Miss Jackson. Um, we're going to mount you. Oh, my gosh. And explore. Really? More? More of this? At least it stacks. Okay. I... Uh, we got to go over here. Really? It costs less to go through the shallow river than the jungle? All right, whatever. We have to. We don't have a choice. And we lost. I killed him? I had already withdrawn myself when I was awoken by a loud gunshot. I immediately ran to aid Private Christopher Overton against an attack. But to my horror, I found him dead on the ground, killed through my own gun. How could this have happened? I cried all night. We're losing everybody. He, w he was so good. He had two boosts. He, he had extra regeneration and tough skin. 
and we shot him because of our insanity. Okay, please. Give me a break here. No, I don't care about any of this. I right, wrist overnight. Great. Now we have a kleptomaniac. We're getting sanity. So there's that. Um, let's keep resting, I guess. Oh, we dreamt that Tim Timster the journalist returned. But his face was severely disfigured and he screamed into my face why I had led him into death. Hooray. Good old Tim Timster, the journalist who got eaten by Diamap. Our cannibal. Um, okay. Wonderful. This is great. Fantastic. Let's leave. We still don't have the sanity to get through here. I guess we need, like, ropes or something? Uh, what are we supposed to do? Um, more treasure? I guess it's whenever we find an egg, we should just bring. Oh, we lost our cook. We lost everyone but our animals, and Lewis is highly infected. It's really just going to be us and the tortoise. And also, we're probably not going to come in first here. It's taking us a long time to travel. This is so bad. Oh, and now we're hallucinating. Great. Okay, we're going in this this portal. Enter the shrine. Investigate the altar. There we go. Take it all. I don't care. Who cares about the natives? We need stuff. We lost standing. Who cares? Continue. Uh, there's some darkness surrounding us. I didn't really read it. Oh, is that a hallucinating? Plus, we're overburdened. We, we still haven't found the missing person. Um, but we can now get down here. It's been 150 days. We're five items overburdened. But who cares? What's the worst that can happen? At this point, what's the worst that can happen? We're going very slowly. Something bad happened. He was rising in the depths. I knew, I knew, I knew. I was a pawn, a prawn. But he, it would exalt me. I just had to find it. The markers. I had to touch the markers. Yep. We're very much going crazy. That's very fun. That is very fun. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Sparkles. We might still come in first here, which is kind of ridiculous. I'm sure something terrible is going to happen to us still. All right, here's more terribleness. Oh, Lewis had rabies. Dust settled over camp, but Lewis vanished as if the ground had swallowed him. One hour later, I found him collapsed near a bush nearby. Someone or something had wounded him gravely. I took him back to the camp to tend to his wounds. He is, oh, he's still with us, but he has rabies. He's the only original person we started with here uh, because we killed Mr. Winters and replaced him with Miss Jackson. Which is fine. Hey, we got another egg. And another baby tortoise. Great. We need more people in our party, so... Here we go. Enter the pyramid. We did it. To England! I knew the name Rolda Munson would be forever remembered. All right. That, <laughs> it's so funny that it says success after we lost three people. Three of our people died in this expedition. Well, I certainly learned some lessons... Especially regarding the moonstones, that we need a certain number of moonstones to enter the temple. If I had known that, we would not have made that mistake. And we probably wouldn't have lost anyone. But that's not what happened. Well, I mean, this is my first playthrough of this game. I'm clearly, every episode, I'm learning a lot. I feel much more confident with the, the combat now. Much more confident. And it's definitely, like, necessary to be able to get more sanity. Bullet Hoarder, we've seen that before. Adept, an additional support die. And Occult Vision, reveals the locations of all stone circles and increases the radius when analyzing them. I think I'm going to take that. Okay. Especially if we need those to get Moonstones and if we need Moonstones to win. Alright, so... Fortunately, the silver lining of this 
is that we did walk away, even though we had to throw some treasures away, at the very end, we didn't care that we were overburdened, and we hauled back a ton of stuff. I can't believe this. These episodes started at, like, half an hour, or just under, and now we're at an hour. So what are we going to do with all these things? Um, some, some things we will sell. Value. Funds. Stuff that's high value means we can trade it. But selling it... All right, well, this thing, the walrus tooth... Let's sell it. Sell them both. I think we're going to keep these because the value is the highest thing. The value in, like, trading. And they do stack. Um, fame? Okay. These also have good value for trading. So we'll keep them. And they stack and they weigh nothing. Okay. Crocodiles. Good for selling. Good. These guys. Also good for keeping. These ones. Um, yeah, we have more stuff for fame later. We're going to sell these. These sell for a ton. These elephant tusks. Uh, this we will donate to the museum. And these we will sell. We got a lot of funds there. That's the silver lining. We got a bunch of funds and fame from the, from the end. Okay, so we will get some negative fame or something uh, for not having found the expedition leader. We, we explored so much, and yet we still didn't find him. Although, clearly, we need to explore even more to be able to find everything we need and survive. What? Well, next episode, for the final expedition in the series, we are going to the Forgotten Prehistoric Lands. Also, because we're charismatic, we will get two new people, which is pretty important. They won't have any levels, but that's okay. Hopefully, we can choose some good ones. This was... <laughs> Oh, man. I enjoyed playing with you today. I really did. That was really fun and awful, but I it was fun. Uh, please leave comments if you'd like. I enjoyed playing with you. I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.